I think we've come up to our next session. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, botanist and researcher and deputy herbarium curator Elspeth Paston from the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh. I want you. I want to share that I think I first met Elspeth uh, through the Worlds of Spinach, the Society for the Preservation of Natural History Collections, and the Biodiversity Information Standards Tadwig Group that brings us standards uh, that we might be familiar with here, like Darwin Core. And this particular session comes after a presentation that I made on behalf of the Species File Group and Taxon Works at last year's Padwig uh, Biodiversity Information Standards meeting. And uh, then Elspeth reached out to me and said, Deb, what about having my students able to uh, experience Taxon Works? How would that work? What could we do? So with that introduction, Elspeth, please. We'd like to hear from you. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's great to be here. My first um, tax on works together. Um, I'm afraid I've missed a lot of it because I've been away. Um, but it's great even to join the bit that I've been. Yeah. So so Deb's given a bit of a an introduction to this. So I just want to give a bit just a bit of background. Um, so I mean we know the the scale of the the challenge that we're all facing um whichever taxon group we're working in i work with plants so um i'm more interested in the herbarium collections around the world so with about three and a half um thousand herbaria we've got about um um 400 million specimens ballpark um held in those in those collections um we're also even just with flowering plants i mean the estimate is something like 390 400 thousand species it's, it, these are big problems that we've got um and we need to be trying to improve how we how we resolve them and how we work with these the the data so you know taxonomists at the moment um just with flowering plants but estimates are 10 to 20 percent of species still to be discovered but half of those probably already been collected and held in herbaria around the world so we are working really upping the game in digitization so we're making those um, specimens more accessible to make it easier for people to do the, the research but we also need um, really the environment and the tools where the researchers can bring these resources um, the digital resources together, especially together with the physical specimens. <clears throat> so we need to make um, having the tools so that people can work with these massive amounts of complex information and the tools need to be easy and intuitive as much as possible or have you know, um, opportunities for people to learn how to use them. So at at Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, we run a course, we run a, a course on MSc, um, the, that's the master's course on um, ta the biodiversity and taxonomy of plants. Um, and we're, so we're training the, the new generation of taxonomists as well as other institutes around the world doing this. We're, we're training new taxonomists, so we're taking on these challenges. Um, so what have what have we been do, doing so far? So we do a lot of training in, in taxonomic methods, methodologies, um, and but we've got probably a, a, a bit of a shortage in tools for the students to use. So we've been um, exploring the use of Echinopsis. I know Nikki's on this on this um, call as well. So um, and this is this has been really good. This has been a nice solution for the for the students to have access to to tools that will help them um so we're, we're we've tested this out and we're, it's worked well and we're going to hopefully expand um student use of this tool so obviously tax on works is another option for the students to use as a resource um and one of the questions we were looking at there um is how can students get started you know, if you're a student, how can you get started in Taxon Works? Um, possibly without necessarily joining an existing 
an existing kind of live group, as it were. So um, I want to say a big thank you to, to TaxonWorks for, for providing us with a sandbox. So um, this is potentially giving us a, a way in and for the students, it's giving them a way in. So we've got the this sandbox kind of learning environment um, and we need to essentially build a, a training module for the for the students, but not only for the students, also for, for the people who are going to be teaching the students, such as me. <laughs> so this is one of the challenges. And I think if I can develop something that works for me, then hopefully it'll work for the students as well. So the students get kind of work that they do. They, they, we, we do an introduction for web resources and things in their first term. Um, so the idea would be we would give them an introduction to Taxon Works, um, and they could then dip in and the ones that felt more comfortable or wanted to kind of take it further, it would be available for them. Um, the kind of coursework that they do, they do a flora writing exercise, for example, um, they do a dissertation project throughout the summer. So there's, there's particular uses that I think Taxon Works could be something that the students might might use. So, as I say, we need a, a kind of short teaching module that we need to develop that um, for the students and the, and the teacher. <laughs> um, the kind of questions that I think we're, we're thinking about at the moment are um, thinking about what the key tasks that the students would require for their work, so we could develop the, the training for those tasks in TaxonWorks. Um, what is the best way to set up the um, student projects within taxon works that's something we need to think think about and what's the best way to populate projects with existing nomenclature and specimen data that's something i'm particularly interested in because they're going to be either starting from scratch or if there's a way that they can pre-populate um, a project and then we need to think about well what if the student wants to retain their work going into the future so what if they, they use it for their dissertation and then decide to go on to a phd etc they want to take the their um their work going forwards so this is kind of I, I think this is really about discussion so i really want to open up a bit of discussion um and because that's that's all i've got in terms of slides um so i'm quite keen to find out from you i, I put a, a question in the in the chat is you know, how many people here teach taxonomy or um, either as a course or part of one? Um, and what tools or resources do you use in this respect? Um, you can respond in the chat, but also um, in discussion. Um, and I think Deb was saying that there are um, some students here as well, so it'd be great to hear from you. I'm also interested in how you all got started in Taxon Works. Did you join an existing group? Did you start your own group? Um, and what were your, what are your experiences? So I'm going to open up for discussion. Um, Thanks, Elspeth. Those questions are really key. Like, I I think they're they you you got straight to the heart of the challenges. So, um, you know, answering just those four of them, if we could do that, where we felt good about those answers, I think we would have something fairly special, but I think it's difficult to to really fully answer those four questions. So I'm going to put those questions, I'm going to try and put them into the into the chat as well. Yeah, into that'd be great. I yeah, so, yeah, I, I would also, what were the two tasks? You said floral writing and what was the second one? Um, a dissertation, um, and that, that could take a wide range of different formats. So Yuri, um, hi there. Yuri, you, you wanted to jump in? Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, I would be extremely happy to join to that and help uh, because uh, I'm botanist, I'm taxonomist, I did a PhD and uh, spent <laughs> all my career after <clears throat> This is uh, working, uh, oh, databasing uh, taxonomy, plant taxonomy. 
So, and I am in this office. I am not, uh, say, experienced uh, uh, user of tax and works in the sense of creating something there. But uh, let's say I would be extremely happy to be involved in all these things and uh, share my experience and learn uh, tax and works and also build uh, some <clears throat> uh, procedures uh, exactly for uh building products uh, dissertations and some uh, learning tools and exploring tax and works uh, compatibility with the uh, all um, baroque of uh, plant nomenclature and uh, plant taxonomy yep so one thing i'd like you know, you know, oh, sorry maria marta yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. thanks yuri hi well, nice to meet you, Elspeth. Uh, I teach, I am from Argentina, from La, La Plata National University, and I teach uh, Introduction to Taxonomy to our students' second year of biology. And I, I have not used taxon works yet, but we do have a project that we have just migrated to this new infrastructure, and that is the Orthoptera species file. It's a, a catalog, a database uh, based on Orthoptera. And we used it a lot, and I use it a lot uh, for teaching the rules of nomenclature. And I think that, uh, and I was thinking of using now taxon works uh, for teaching uh, rules of nomenclature. I think this, uh, this kind of uh, databases are extremely useful for students. Uh, and and I, I if I would I would like to collaborate with you uh, in helping you in this uh, producing that uh, teaching module, and I can share my experience because I was thinking of doing something for next year with taxon works. So um, and and I think that there are many things to be done uh, and different programs that can be set for students. Sure. Within taxon works, of course. <laughs> yeah, so cause it, I think I feel it could lend itself well to this kind of teaching. Um, but I'm also aware, you know, I, to be honest, I, you know, I'm just starting, and with starting yourself without being part of a a, a group, I think is probably more challenging. Um, so it's, yeah. So it's an interesting, I mean, I think a resource, I think, would be useful for, for everyone, but I think it could be really useful for, for as I say, for, for teaching the next, next generation of students. Um, I see uh, Brittany um, just graduated from your master's, and um, but I think, I think that's it. If you're doing a master's and there's something like taxon works that you could use for your thesis, I think, um, I think it could be really valuable. I'm going to add two things there. I think like taxon works really has a sort of at its heart, the goal was to be the tool that I wanted to have in my master's, right? Like it really, one of the themes is we came out of the PEAT program where we were partnered with uh, researchers who were retiring and it, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could hand off our database of, of taxonomic research at the end of our careers um, to the rest of our collaborators? So that definitely sort of fits with the theme and the goal. I want to briefly mention one other thing that I would encourage everybody thinking about working on the course to think about it not as writing a course around taxon works, but, but writing a course that taxon works could adopt to. So I would love to have people come up with new new tasks, that new interfaces, new processes that we could encode to meet the needs of the class rather than writing the class around existing things that we do. So please don't think that, like please think of that as an opportunity that it really needs to be bi-directional. If not completely, you know, you come up with the course and you think about how it should look and the interfaces that you should engage with and then we build that as a as a as a collaboration so uh, i think that's really important we're learning and evolving as we go on 
Brittany has a hand up. Yeah, I I mean, I'm the one who just put in the thing. I would have loved to know this during my master's. Um, I used like four different data tracking websites just because I didn't know what was the best one or what to do. And so it's all still a bit scattered. Um, and so yeah, this is a brilliant tool. And actually one of the people that I uh, worked with during my work placement in Northern Ireland, I think took your course, Elspeth. <laughs> I think he was in one of your master's students a couple years ago, and he was the one who helped me figure out the like taxonomy of some of my insects. So hearing you say that was a bit of a a full circle moment. Excellent. <laughs> Brittany, can I can I ask where you would have gone in your master's to find out about tools? Where did you look for tools and not find something like TaxonWorks? Like TaxonWorks has been around for ten years. Did you go to meetings? Did you hear from fellow students, teachers? Where do we get the word out about something like TaxonWorks to a student, you know, who completed their coursework like you did? Yeah, so I mostly learned my tools from my advisor at the time, who was um, a couple years older than me, a conservation officer at the company Bug Life. Um, and everything else I would have learned from my professors. I attended um, Queen's University in Belfast, Northern Ireland. So I don't know if it's just that area. Everybody tended to use iNaturalist, PlantNet, and sort of those app-based um, data interfaces. And I ended up just pulling my data off some of those and putting it in Excel and doing it um, by myself because it technically does belong to the company. So I didn't want to have it, you know out massively until they gave me the green light for it um but yeah had I don't know had my professors used it because all the professors were researchers and had they maybe even taught one course in it so we talked a lot about biodiversity statistics through R and GIS and those type of fields and I think course by course getting it integrated as kind of one of those day on day off lessons would have been really really helpful for for I'm sure many of us in my program so I'm interested as well, um, Tommy, you've used TaxonWorks for curation. I just wondered if you would be able to say something about, about that process. Yeah, so I taught a, a special topics course for grad students a few years back um, about entomology collections curation. Um, and it was a good, great way to teach, you know, how to digitize something, what's a relational database uh, most of which they had no idea about. Um, also helped to teach them stuff like Darwin Core and uh, best practices for that sort of thing. But then there were different aspects of collection management where we had to just kind of go back to um, the the typical, uh, you know, export it and or like you know hand type it in Word or Excel or something like that. So things like container management and printing out labels and how to do that. Um, or collections profiling, those kind of tasks aren't worked out in TaxonWorks yet. Um, mm -hmm. And we didn't teach, this wasn't a taxonomy teaching course. Like obviously that was a lot in there and they could build their projects around it. So like they all had to do a um, some sort of project to present at the end of the course. And some students identified a bunch of unknowns and then showed how much they'd curated the collection. Um, other students did projects on best practices and pinning and labeling or something like that. But um, it was, that was the tool that we had, we used the most because they were doing the projects in the INHS inset collection, which uses TaxonWorks. Um, so there were a couple places where we could have used a few tasks, but otherwise it worked pretty well. I think most, uh, most of the students really enjoyed it and got a lot of practical experience. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that answers your question, but. Yeah, no, I think it's, just, it's interesting to see how people have, have used it for teaching um, and you know, identified um, sections that, as you say, need, we need new tasks. Honestly, I think I was using the parts that were less well worked out, whereas like the taxonomy and nomenclature parts I think, especially now with key building and um, matrices and all that kind of stuff, you could do a lot of really cool modules in building keys. And uh, honestly, I have learned about just myself. I have learned how to 
name and describe species, I've learned new things from trying to fit the rules that are soft validated in taxon works. Um, and so, yeah, I've learned a lot of new best practices. So honestly, I think I used the less well worked out parts um, and it was still able to make it work to some extent. So that's good to hear. I, I do want to note that most people, like, I guess one of the questions was how many students have laptops that they could take offline back in my day, we had to install, you know, our own software off the internet, um, and our phylogenetic programs and our, you know, pop star and whatever. Um, and, um, we just want to let it be known that TaxonWorks, you can install, install it and run it offline on your desktop with very little effort on, on almost all major platforms with just a couple of lines of uh, terminal interactions. So students could be interacting with it in the course perspective in their own worlds. Um, Elspeth, you also asked about seed data for a project and there is literally a gem called seed data, DB seed. And so we could write up the data. It would not take too long. You know, I, I think in a couple, a day or two, we could have a very nice framework with some tricky synonymy and some normal stuff. And the, the student would just run a single extra command and their, their instance would be populated up with the content for the course. So there's technically those two things are very doable your question about how do they take their future with them? Well, of course they can take that individual instance, but we're really trying to promote community use and building a lab around it. So they can definitely take that and work with it offline on, for the rest of their career, but taking their project that they might work with online and how that works with the communities that serve online projects is a major challenge for us still. Yeah, I, well, I think, I mean, it sounds great. What I'm hearing is is really positive, um, and I think it'd be lovely if people can continue to put in chat any examples um, that they or kind of put a plus one if you've if you've used it, um, and we can um, try and make make contact as well in the future. Um, um, yeah. So so Elspeth, the, on your so Heidi also stepped up and said she'd be lovely to help in any way, um, and I would like to add sort of an added factor here. How many of your students might be students who are going to be learning to use R or Python in the course of what they're doing or already have some of those skills sometimes? Because I was thinking they could also be, if that's interesting to them, they can be part of this aspect of the kind of thing Matt was talking about. Oh, we need the software to do X or Y, right? We need to add a task. We need to add something. And they could actually contribute that way also if they were motivated to do that, right? If that was something that interested them or was part of their skill set already. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. how they come. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably going to be more challenging, I think. But I mm -hmm. think. Sorry, I'm just aware of the time as well. Um, yeah. And you'll need to move on. So, but thank you very much for giving me the chance thanks. to come. Thanks, Elspeth. I'd love to be able to talk a lot more about this. I think there's a lot of interest. I'm also, again, this is one of, you've heard it prior in the meeting that 100% we could get NSF funding to bring together people for workshops here, though I don't know, maybe others here know about how international that funding can be. But um, if the Species File Group can help catalyze that, um, do keep that in mind in terms of bringing people physically together or you know into it to some workshop framework as this moves forward so thanks super thanks to elspeth and i hope some connections were made i think there were already um yeah there's lots of chat going on nikki point is pointing out something on the carpentries which this might be a great context for this kind of um course or at least some of the pedagogy could be really important for the course if it doesn't fit you know the overall graduate and more extended course um so i think we'll keep that chat going on in the background and just in the interest of time maybe we'll pivot to those who are here for the geospatial is that okay debbie yeah i think the thing i want to say is if you're interested in meeting with elspeth elspeth are you interested in then meeting with these people who said they're interested in helping do you want to talk more with them yeah, I'm, what I'm not sure about is is how how that might 
work but i think um if, if yeah if people put their names down we can Absolutely. maybe see if we can organize something <laughs> yeah and in, in the google doc y'all i'm creating a spot for that so if you go down to the bottom of the google doc right now um i have a section because i might miss someone's name so please because elspeth will need your email 